Hello guys, this is Jack the Beyond and Rapper Animator 2K5. Here is one of my 1000 subscriber specials, a Q and A. 21 questions were submitted for this, with a lot of opinion questions. But without wasting any more time, let's get to the first question. First question is from Jamie the Animator 2005, which part of the UK do you live in? Well, I won't go into too much detail with this for obvious reasons. But in short, I live in the county of Nottinghamshire about 10 miles from Nottingham city centre. This is about 120 miles north of London. The second question is also from Jamie the Animator 2005. What do I think of your videos? For me, I think your videos are quite good. My favourite video of yours is where Gary fights with Archie and both get grounded. Sometimes the videos can be a little over the top, but still they are good nonetheless. The third question is from T386 The Beyonder 262. What's your opinion on other users ruining other characters' reputations? For me, this is quite possibly one of the worst things you can do to another user's character. If another user gives them a slightly different personality, then it's not really a big deal. But when people change another person's character to the point in which they completely ruin the character, then that's a problem. If any of you guys haven't yet watched Gia Brick's latest video about Mrs. Ramirez, I suggest you watch it. In my eyes, if it was your own character, then it's fine. But people should be careful with what they do with other people's characters. The fourth question is from JC. Did you watch the creator Stampy Longhead as a child in your early stages of life? Yes, I have watched Stampy Longhead in the past mainly in roughly late 2015 to 2016. I used to watch him play Super Mario Maker, which was one of my favorite video games at the time. The fifth question is from Nate the Big Nate Fanatic. Do you play Roblox? I'll be honest, I haven't played Roblox in a long time. I used to play it in the past however, and I believe my Roblox account is still about. If I ever return to Roblox, I'll be sure to share my Roblox account with you all. Oh, and if you guys want to know my favorite game on it, then it's Redwood Prison. It's pretty much the only game on Roblox I have ever played though, but I've spent hours playing that game in the past. The sixth question is also from Nate the Big Nate Fanatic. Do you play Grand Theft Auto 5? I have played this game once or twice in the past, but in general, I don't really play it. The seventh question is from Eduardo the Rapper Offline Man. Who is your favorite Beyond OC character? Well, there are too many for me to choose from. First off, I would choose Animator Guy 0986's Chloe Walker, despite being a troublemaker, because she is absolutely hilarious and her roasts are excellent. I would also say Vance Production Trademark's Michael Dagger, because he seems really cool and he identifies with me very well as he has autism like I do. And finally, all of the dish girls because they are also awesome characters. The eighth question is from Colorado Man. What does Daryl Melendez look like in Beyond Studio? For those who don't know, this is a troublemaker created by a user by the name of Colorado Man. By the way, you should subscribe to his channel if you haven't already, who makes rapper offline videos. So anyways, Daryl, could you enter the studio? Do I really have to? Yes, and I don't want to hear any complaints about it. Fine. There you go Colorado man, you happy now? The ninth question is from Lola Bonnie is awesome 1996. What is your opinion on me? I would say I'm neutral, only because I don't know you that well. In the future however, hopefully this will change for the better if I get to know you better. The tenth question is also from Lola Bunny is awesome 1996. What is your opinion on Space Jam? A new legacy, 2021. Again, I would say neutral, only because I've never played this game before. The eleventh question is from Moabi and Panty and Stalking FTWI Carly FTL. What's your opinion on Moabi? I personally have no opinion on this unfortunately, since I have never heard of it. The twelfth question is from Grant Mitch Videos. 
Have you ever watched the show Top Gear? As a matter of fact, yes. Sometimes my dad will put this on his TV, and since I have a fascination of roads, I often find this show to be interesting and sometimes hilarious. The thirteenth question is from Kalia 75 Windows, what will you do if my Dylan and my Blaze, nice Carl, nice Trophy and nice Chris try to fight with the Flying Eagles? Hmm, now this is an interesting question. Well to look at it, the Flying Eagles are quite notorious in the land of beyond, but the nice versions of them are pretty powerful as well including Dylan who is a police officer in Kalia's universe. I would probably encourage the nice versions to defeat the mean versions of the Flying Eagles, and then encourage Dylan to arrest the Flying Eagles for the crap they have done. The fourteenth question is from Funny Channel, what is your opinion on Waleed Rx? For me, I think Waleed is a good user, ranking as an honorable mention in my top 40 users list. He makes good content despite not watching his content that much. One thing I will say is that he often doubts himself, which I don't think he should. Also, go subscribe to Walid if you haven't already so he can reach 9000 subscribers and prove that he deserves that milestone. The 15th question is from Rebecca Fatals. What is your opinion on Coconut Fred Salad Island? Unfortunately, I have no opinion on this since I have never heard of it. The sixteenth question is from David the Animation Fanatic 17, what are your thoughts on Tristan Gets Grounded? Well for me, despite the fact the series didn't turn out as well as expected, it remains one of my favorite Grounded series of all time because of the almost flawless script writing. This made a great attention to detail and effort in each of the videos, and with the introduction of Tristan's redemption in season 2. I'm sure the new season will be even better than season 1. Oh, and while I'm here, I want to give a shout out not only to David, but to Corey Comedian 1993, Nonimeter, Abinov Arvin 2004, and Animator Guy 0986 who all helped David with his scripts and making his Tristan series awesome. The 17th question is from Victor Haas of Yonder 2011. What's your opinion on Julia Westers? If you guys don't know, Julia is Victor's OC troublemaker. In my opinion, she seems like an interesting character and troublemaker, but a full opinion will be developed as the series progresses since there hasn't been too much character development yet. The 18th question is from Violi Daily. What is your favorite colors? I have a wide range of colors I like. Mainly I prefer the color red which is why you will see that color a lot in my profile pictures. I also like colors such as green and turquoise. You guys might think my favorite color is orange due to my previous avatar, but that was just to match what I like to wear in summer. There aren't many colors I'm not a big fan of. The 19th question is from Dark Matter Blade Man 4000. What is your opinion on Carolina Ramirez? I personally think that Mrs. Ramirez is a good and underrated character. The main thing that obviously makes people dislike Carolina is how many users have ruined our reputation, and I won't go into detail about it here. But overall I think she is a good principal who needs more respect in the community. It is good that it's clear in the VHS 2022-23 school year that Mrs. Ramirez will be an average school principal who is fair to everyone. The twentieth question is from Leroy Neon Purple Star 2009. What is your opinion on Puerto Rico? Now here's one thing you should know about me. I have never been abroad in my life, which you guys might find surprising. However, Puerto Rico does seem like an interesting place, which despite being a US territory, is more influenced from Spain. The food, culture, and landscape of the country seems interesting and this might be a place I consider visiting in the future. And last but not least, the 21st and final question is from Kayla Bagalar. What is your favorite kids movie? First, if you consider the Harry Potter franchise a kids movie, then this is my favorite of all time, as well as Home Alone 1 and 2. But my favorite childhood shows were Horrid Henry and SpongeBob SquarePants, and both of these series have movies, so naturally, these are some of my favorites. And that's all I have time for today. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned to part 2 of my 1000 subscriber special, which will be a party. Many of you guys would like to feature in this, 
which is great. This will probably be out some point next week. See you all later.